Welcome to our review on halogen displacement reactions. So quick recap for us first of all, when we're talking about a halide, that's the compound of a halogen and one other element, which is usually a methyl or hydrogen. Now, the next thing we need to know is what we're talking about when we refer to a displacement reaction. And quite simply, in a displacement reaction, a more reactive halogen will displace a less reactive halogen from the halide. Now, you can think of this in terms of my amazing little drawing skills there. We start off with chlorine, which, as we know, is up near the top of group seven. So it's quite reactive. And we've got a halide there of sodium bromide. Bromine further down, so not as reactive as chlorine. So when they react together, chlorine is more reactive than bromine. Therefore, it's going to take its place with the sodium. So what we end up doing on the other side is we've got chlorine joined with sodium to make sodium chloride and we've got our bromine on its own. Make sure that you can also write the balanced symbol equation for this, which I've given you at the bottom there. We start off with our chlorine Cl2. We then react that with our sodium bromide in this case, NaBr, and we then make NaCl sodium chloride and bromine Br2. Don't forget that all important thing to make sure that we do have the little subscript 2 on any halogen on its own. And that means that your balancing should always work out. If you forget that little subscript 2, balancing is never going to work. So in class, you should have done this little reaction where you've got your spotting tile and in there you've got a solution of sodium chloride, one of sodium bromide and another of potassium iodide. So you've got those three little spots in your spotting tile with each of those solutions in there. Then we add some chlorine water to one row, bromine water to another, and the iodine solution to the last row. What we're looking for in this is some kind of a change in color that tells us we've seen a displacement reaction. Now, what they could ask you to do on the exam is to predict what you'd see. And all we need to do there is apply our knowledge that the more reactive halogen will take the place of the less reactive one. So if we've got chlorine reacting with anything beneath it, then that means we will see a reaction. So those ones, we will see a color change, as you can see with the fact that we've got a little tick with our sodium bromide and our sodium iodide. Bromine will only react with the sodium iodide because the chloride is obviously more reactive than it, so it can't take the place. And then because iodine is the least reactive of our three, we see no reaction with any of those chemicals. The last thing we need to be able to do is to write half equations to model what happens to each reactant. So I've given you the two half equations that we could see for one of these reactions. So if we start off with our chlorine, so Cl2, then that gains the two electrons, 2E minus, to make our two chloride ions, 2Cl minus. Then the other side to this, what's happening to our bromine? We start off with our bromide ions, so 2Br minus, and then what we're going to form is bromine, so Br2, and we get two electrons, 2E minus. Because what we're looking at here is gaining and losing of electrons, we're looking at reduction and oxidation reactions. So what we can see in our top little ionic equation there, what we can see there, chlorine is going to gain electrons, therefore it's reduction, whereas our bromide will lose electrons, therefore it's oxidation. So just remember, oil rig, oxidation is loss of electrons, reduction is gain of electrons. If we look at the full ionic equation at the very bottom there, you can see we're only concerned with those bits that are reacting. So our chlorine and our bromine. So Cl2 plus 2Br minus makes 2Cl minus plus Br2. And because we've got one being reduced and the other being oxidized, that is an example of a redox reaction. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe and explain displacement reactions that involve halogens and halides.